Today's video is sponsored by Pop Shop Live. Hi guys, Top Pops here. We have a pretty exciting pop on today. Today we're going to be going over to EB Games because somebody let us know they might have the McDonald's Funko Pops in. So let's get started. Now before we get into today's video, let's talk about our sponsor, Pop Shop Live. Pop Shop Live is a whole new way to sell and shop. Sellers can host their own pop-up live streams. And shoppers can tune in to watch live shows and shop for unique products. You can follow stores by creators, influencers, and sellers from all around the world. It's basically a digital mall. And as a part of Pop Shop's Collectible Day, I will be going live on Pop Shop this Saturday, August the 15th at 6 p.m. EST. We're gonna be talking about Funko Pops as well as opening some Funko Pop mystery boxes. Oh. And then I mentioned there's gonna be giveaways? To make sure you don't miss my stream, go to the link in the description down below to download the app. Once you've downloaded the app, you're gonna need an invite code. Mine is Top Pop. Oh, and to make sure you guys don't miss the stream, make sure you click here to add me to your watch list. Well, anyways, guys, thank you to Pop Shop for sponsoring this video. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. All right, guys, we made it to EB Games. Fingers crossed they've got the pops. So we're over in the back section here, and they do have a lot of good stuff, but they do not have the McDonald's ones. I mean, it's okay, because they said they were in transit, so we should be getting them soon. Um, yeah, I don't see too much that's new, but I did grab this over at the front and I want to show this off. Um, we actually are getting some other stuff as well. Um, but this right here is the Batman and Robin Mr. Freeze. So at least I can get this today because this didn't come out the day that they had released the SDCC one. So it is cool that I can get it today. All right, guys, well, I guess this kind of worked out. I didn't find the McDonald's ones, but we do have the brand new Star Wars ones. We've got Yoda hooded as well as the Darth Malak. I'm definitely getting these two. Also, guys, up at the front here, they have this one from The Witcher, which I don't remember ever coming to Canada. So it is cool that they have it now. And then we've got the Exoskeleton Snowball, some of the new Dragon Ball Super ones, uh, the new One Punch Man ones, the Mummin Riders up here. I also see a couple more exclusives. We have Fox and Morty with Laptop here. Uh, the new Jawa, the 10 inch Skeletor. They also have the salt and pepper ones. Actually, I just see pepper here. I don't know if they have salt, but uh, that one right there is pretty cool. And then we also have the dinosaurs ones and some of the Avengers. All right, guys, we got our figures. Now let's go back to the studio. Now guys, before we get into the stuff that I picked up today, a package came in the mail today and I just couldn't wait. So let's open it up. Now this here is probably something that you guys have heard me talk about a little bit on the channel. This is my thing where I'm trying to get one of every single mystery mini ever. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, Tristan, this is going to take forever. Yeah. yeah, you're probably right. But you know what? I don't care. This is one of those things that I feel like could take maybe a month, two months. I'm not too sure. But once we get all of them, it's going to be a great video. All right, guys. So here are the three that we got today. Now, it's kind of sad. Oh, there's also a pop in here. I forgot I ordered a pop as well. But it's sad because we can't open them up today, but at least I can show them off. So the first one that we got here is from, I believe this is Frozen 2. Yeah, this is one of the ones from Frozen 2. And this is nice because they are all different rarities. It's not just, you know, the one in 12 over and over again. I think the hardest one to get is a one in 72. Yeah, and that's Anna in nightgown. I'm not sure, but anyways, it's a rare one. So we got that one. Then we also got this one here, which I'm pretty excited about. I will be getting a full case of this one eventually. I just ordered the one today because that's all I needed for this. Um, but this is the Alien Remix one. And I want to make sure that I get an actual full case. So if I see it in stores, I'll pick it up before I order it online. Just because if I get them from here, they might just throw a random 12 in and that's no fun. And if you guys want to see the back of this one, there are some different ones that they haven't actually turned into pops yet. So I hope that all of these do eventually turn into pops. And if you guys are wondering which ones they haven't turned into pops, yet it's boo from monsters inc mrs incredible anger nemo and then miguel from coco and then guys the last one that i ordered which is pretty much all of the ones that i didn't have that was on the website it is this one right here it is the rick and morty one. Oh, it's the only at gamestop as well i didn't know if it was or not um, but this is the only at gamestop rick and morty one and i think this is the newest set of mystery minis but i'm not too sure now which pop did i oh well this is kind of annoying so what had happened today is guys we bought this figure again i guess Huh. Well, anyways, we can do a giveaway with it in the future. I don't mind that. But I ordered, it looks like I, yeah, I ordered a Mr. Freeze. Now, the reason I ordered one of these was just because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get it in stores. And I saw it on the website, and then I thought I would pick one up today for the pop hunt, forgetting that I ordered one online. So, we have two. And I mean, guys, I don't know what we're going to do with it yet, whether it be a giveaway or something fun for the channel. But whatever we do, it's going to be something cool. Now, before we get on to the other stuff, I do want to show you guys every single mystery mini that we have now. So, these are the three new ones. And then I also have these ones over here. So, we've got the Game of Thrones one here. And this one does say exclusive exclusives on the back, so I'm not too sure. Uh, let me know, guys, if you know in the comment section below, was this one exclusive to GameStop and they just didn't put a sticker on it? Because I found it at EB Games and they usually share their exclusives, so I feel like that's where it's exclusive to. And then we also got the Minions, the Rise of Gru one. This is just the common set. I've got the Twisted Ones, Sister Locations, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's one. This one one of you guys sent to me a long time ago, so I'm glad I still had that one. And then we have this one here. This one was Ralph Breaks the Internet. And then last but not least, we have the GameStop exclusive one for Star Wars. I think this is the last jedi 
I think so. It doesn't say. Why doesn't it say? It doesn't really matter, but we have built up a pretty cool collection of mystery minis here, and again, like I said before, if you guys know where we can get some of these ones for pretty cheap, let me know in the comment section below. Or if there's even just a weirder set of mystery minis that you guys have found on some website that maybe not too many people know about, please let me know. Because honestly, guys, at this point, anything helps. All right, guys, now let's get into what we picked up over at EB Games today. Now, the first thing that I picked up was not a pop at all. It's actually a card game, and I was so excited to find this because I had no clue this was a thing. So a new version of Uno came out, and it's Uno, but it's Mario Kart. And as you guys probably know, I'm a huge fan of Mario Kart, so when I found this thing, I was like, you know what? I gotta get it. And it was only $8 as well, so usually with like a board game or something like that, I'm thinking it's gonna be like $15 to $20, so for under $10, it's not bad. Also, guys, in this version of Uno, there is a special card that is a question block like in Mario Kart. I'm not sure what it does yet, but whatever it is, I'm super excited to try it out. Oh, also guys, one more thing before we get into the pops. I do have this right here. This is the 13 day spooky countdown. This is something I'm going to be saving for Halloween, so we're not going to be opening it up today, but this is going to be part of my Halloween videos, and I'm actually really excited to do those because there's a lot of cool Halloween stuff coming out this year. Oh, and also if you guys are wondering what this is, this is just 13 different pops that you get leading up to Halloween. You open one up every day, almost like an advent calendar, and I'm pretty excited about this. Anyways, guys, now let's get into the pops. So the first one that I got here, well, yeah, okay, I mean, it's of course the Mr. Freeze. So we do have two of these, but like I said, we will be doing something fun with them. But before we move on, guys, I will say that they did some pretty cool glitter tricks here to make the ice look kind of shiny, and I'm liking it. All right, guys, now let's show off the thing that you guys probably clicked on the video for, and this right here is the brand new Star Wars video game pops, and this one right here is the Yoda hooded. Now, this figure here is from Battlefront 2, and Noah said that he saw the skin in the game, but it's really just Yoda with a hood, so it's kind of lazy, but I think the pop looks really great. And considering they've never made a Battlefront pop, I think this one is a great one to do it with, just because Yoda's so iconic. And then you guys can see on the back of the box here, there are actually three other figures that are in the set besides Yoda. I only got two of them today, because that's all they had. I really want to get the other two as well, so I will be hunting for those ones. So don't worry about that if you guys want to see them on the channel. Um, but yeah, these ones are all from different Star Wars games throughout the years, not just Battlefront. And you guys can see the back of the box there. So there is the Shadow Stormtrooper, Darth Revan, Darth Malak, as well as Hooded Yoda. I also really like the Yoda because he's kind of like using the Force instead of just his hand down to the side. This is always a great pose for any Star Wars pop. I mean, if they use the Force, of course. If this is like IG-88 with his hand out like this, what's he doing? Reaching for like uh, fruit gummies? I don't know. And then guys, last but not least today, we did get this right here. This one is the Darth Malak. Now, I still think this one looks really great, but I do really want to get that Shadow Stormtrooper as well as the Darth Revan, just because those are two pops that I've been wanting for a long time. But yeah, this one looks pretty neat. I just don't know as much about him as I do the other ones. I don't know, but anyways, guys, it looks like a really cool pop, and should I go back and play Star Wars The Force Unleashed? It seems like a cool game, but I'm not sure. And just from looking here on the wiki, guys, it looks like that's the most recent game that he was in, so if you guys recommend that game, let me know. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been the Lipsaw Top Pops, Popsters. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow.